Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are going to begin with this session number three. Uh, remember that this week we are going to end on Friday, so we are going to see each other tomorrow too. Así que esta semana eh, recuerden que vamos a terminar el viernes porque vamos a completar la semana, así que nos vamos a ver también mañana en la sesión número cuatro. So, yesterday we were talking about holidays in the U.S. and now we are going to continue with that part because we have another topics that we are going to develop. And in this case, um, we are going to talk about WH questions. Um, we are going to practice a conversation and then we are going to have a vocabulary. And in that case, we are going to talk about how to celebrate a special occasion and in which words we can use for that topic. Así que tenemos varios temas por ahí. Vamos a terminar lo de las... Um, lo de las holidays in the US, luego vamos con las WH questions, vamos a practicar una conversación por ahí y luego tenemos un vocabulario. So, we are going to start right now with the uh, holidays. So, we are going to continue and you tell me that I forget or I forgot to add the Holy Week. So, I added the Holy Week here. Así que les agregué la Holy Week eh, of the U.S. here because you were telling me that um, that we need to, to have that special day there. So we have this one that is the last uh, day that we have here that is the National Maritime Day that is in May 22nd. So we are going to continue from this. Vamos a continuar a partir de acá. Y vamos a ver cuál es el siguiente. So, in this case, we are on May. And now we are going to see, let me see. May 30, that is the memorial. Well, in this case, I have Memorial Day already. Now, we are going with a June. And we have the Juni T. Juni then. In this case, have you heard about the Jonathan? ¿Han escuchado alguna vez esa celebración ustedes? El Jonathan. No. No. Okay, the Jonathan is a um, celebration. Um, es una celebración que habla sobre la emancipación de los esclavizados en US. Ese es el Jonathan. Tiene que ver con la esclavitud y la emancipación de la esclavitud. So this date is on June 19th. And also we have in the same date, we have the Father's Day. Father's Day, that is on June 19th. We have here the Father's Day is on June 17th, but in the United States is June 19th. Así que allá se celebra el 19 y aquí se celebra el 17. Then we have another one in June. No, we have July. We are going to move to July. In July, we have the National Aviation Day. But first, 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 we have the Independence Day. That this one is a very common uh, date. Esta si no la sabemos, ¿verdad? Es el July 4th, el 4 de julio. Then we have the National Aviation Day.
that is on July. I mean, in this case, it's not July, it's August here. This one is in August 19th. Yes, we have just Independence Day on July and now we have August. Then we have also in August, Women's Equality Day. Women's Equality Day. That is on August 26th. 26th. Then we have Labor Day I, I, in September. We are going to see September. And we have Labor Day. Labor Day. Ellos tienen el Día del Trabajo en septiembre. So in this case, it's September 4, eh, 5th. September the, the, the 5th. Now we have another one that is National Grandparents Day, El Dia de los Abuelos. And this one is on September 11th. Then we have October that we have Columbus Day. That is on October 10. Then we have Boss Day. Hasta los jefes tienen un día especial. Boss Day. That is on October 17. Seventeenth. Then we have another one that is Halloween. Halloween on October 31st. 31st. And we are almost done. Casi terminamos con las fechas. Then we have on November, we have All Saints Day. All Saints. Saints Day, que es como el Día de Todos los Santos in this case. And it is on November. First, and we have all uh, spirits, I guess, or all souls, they also. Um, I think not all of these uh, celebration are like those that uh, we have here in El Salvador. Uh, in some places there are like three days, but in others not. No siempre son como asuetos, en muchos de los casos, eh, en, eh, dependiendo de la zona también. Pero en el caso del de, eh, Día de la Independencia, ustedes saben que sí es, es como muy eh, respetado, ¿verdad? Pero hay otros que son como más que todo celebraciones, pero no todas las personas descansan, igual que aquí en el país, que no todas las personas eh, tienen su asueto, sino que es también dependiendo del de, de el lugar en el que trabajamos y cosas así, porque hay unos que trabajan más esos días porque pues, son eh, feriados para ellos. Pero es la misma situación que acá. Then we have another one that is the Veterans Day on November 11th. Veteran Day, que es el Día de los Veteranos, on November 11th. 
And we are going to go to December. And here we have just, we are going to add just two, two more. Christmas Eve and a New Year's Eve. That are the, um, in this case, we can say the most important uh, celebration here. So in this case, we are just going to write the Christmas Eve and the New Year's Eve. Así que en este caso solo escribimos como las más importantes eh, o las que eh, we are going to focus right now. No las escribimos todas. There are a lot. Christmas Eve. I mean, Christmas. Yes. And this one is on December 24th. La víspera de la Navidad. And the last one, the New Year's Eve. That is on December 31st. So I will um, share the link in which you can find all of these celebrations uh, or all the holidays on the US. And you are going to find some celebrations that are about religion uh, because there have a lot of uh, holidays that are about religion, but it is not like just a Christian uh, religion. We have uh, different religions on the US. So you are going to find different celebrations about that uh, topic. Uh, we are going to find uh, some specific celebrations uh, depending on the state and all of the things. But I will send to you the link of uh, the holidays on the US. And they have like the uh, specification of the places and all of the things. And if you can notice, I add uh, the last exercise that we are uh, were supposed to complete uh, yesterday. So if you can um, uh, do the exercise, it could be very, very good. So now we are going to end with uh, this part that is uh, the topic of the holidays. And we are going to begin with the questions. We are going to talk about question words. Um, this also is another very easy or basic topic because you're going to talk about the WH words. Así que vamos a hablar de las preguntas que llevan estas famosas WH words, que son las que llevan W y H. Vamos a hacer una, un cuadro eh, in which we're going to have the question word, the usage, and an example. Vamos a tener la, la palabra, el uso, y un ejemplo de esas preguntas. And we have two, four, six, eight. Eight question words or WH words. Así que vamos a tener una tabla de ocho palabras con su uso y sus ejemplos. So let me begin doing the table and writing the information. And then you are going to do something with that information. So let's begin. The first word that we have here is who. Who. What is the usage of this WH word? ¿Cuál es el uso que le damos al who? Quien. In this case is quien. So, and the usage is asking uh, for the person who did the action. Is ask the person who did the action. 
who is for people. Yes, of course. And we have here one example, and it says, who is the uh, president of Brazil? He is the active person who did the action, who is the president of Brazil? Quien es el presidente de Brazil? Another example. Who will be the winner? Who will be the winner? Who will be the dinner? Now we have a second one. Will what? Be... What is the usage yeah. of what? Okay. It's for beans. Mm, yes, but uh, what are you asking with that word? ¿Qué necesitamos cuando utilizamos el what? Una acción. Sí, necesitamos información, ¿verdad?, sobre esa acción. En el primero es para preguntar sobre la persona que hizo la acción y en este es para obtener información. So, here it is used to ask for information. And we have the example. What does this sentence mean? What does this sentence mean? ¿Qué significa esta oración? What does this sentence mean? And then we have another one. Tell me. ¿Qué significado? Yes, en ese caso significado. Then, what dress are you wearing tonight? What dress are you wearing tonight? ¿Qué vestido vas a usar hoy? In this case, we need information about the dress that you are going to use for the party, for example. Then, we have when. ¿Para qué utilizamos el when? ¿Qué tipo de, de información necesitamos con el when? Fecha. Exacto, ¿Cuándo? exacto. ¿Cuándo? Una fecha, una, un, un tiempo específico. Very good. This one is used to ¿Cuándo? talk about time. Talk about time. Or the time of an event. Or action. El tiempo en el que se realizó un evento, o se realiza un evento, o una acción. Examples. When can I see you again? When can I see you? Again. ¿Cuándo, eh, ¿Cuándo puedo verte de nuevo? Next one. When is the next World Cup? When is the next? I mean, next is not with capital. Next World. When is the next? Cup. When is the next World Cup? Then we have another one. Let's see. Where? 
¿Para qué utilizamos yeah. el where? For places. For places. Good. For places. For places. When we need information about a specific place or location. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Used to ask for places or locations. Para preguntar por lugares o locaciones, ¿verdad? Específicos. I mean, places. Okay. Examples. Where were the keys? Where were the keys? ¿Dónde estaban las llaves? Where do you live? Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? There are very basic questions. Now, why? ¿Para qué utilizamos el why? Tell me, Andrea. Este es solo buenas noches. Solamente quisiera hacer, no sé, hacer memoria de en, en, esta, en este ejemplo que puso. Where were the keys? Uh -huh. Quisiera saber cómo se ocupa el web. El, el web. web. Ajá. Ah, no me puedo explicar bien porque los dos son where, where. Ok, where es la pregunta, la primera. La voy a marcar de diferentes colores. Esta, where, es la pregunta. Usted lo va a utilizar cuando eh, esté hablando o esté haciendo una pregunta. Porque significa dónde. Where, I mean, marqué lo que no era. Cuando usted necesite saber un lugar, le va a poner where. where, where. Dónde. Ahora, usted necesita saber también qué significa el otro where. Ese es el pasado del de verbo to be. Este otro que usted tiene acá, que voy a marcar en otro color. Lo voy a poner en verde. Ese es el pasado. Por ejemplo, usted tiene en presente is, am, and are. En pasado usted tiene where y was. En este caso, usted está diciendo, ¿dónde was. estaban las llaves? Where were the keys? El primero es la pregunta, WH. Tienen que fijarse siempre en eso. WH es la pregunta. Y where es el pasado del de verbo to be. Es para decir, oh, okay. estaba o he where. sido. So, in that case, where were the keys? ¿Dónde estaban las llaves? We good? ¿Estamos bien ahora? Yes. Yes? Sí. Ok. So, in that case, es la, la escritura nos va a decir a nosotros de qué nos referimos. Si nos referimos a la pregunta o nos referimos al verbo to be en pasado. So, why? ¿Por, ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué necesitamos saber sí. con why? Reasons. Reasons, good. We ask for reasons. Used to ask for a reason. Or also we can use it for a asking about a cause. For una causa, una razón. And we have the examples. What did you break the glass? Why did you break the glass. ¿Por qué rompiste el vaso? A reason. Then, why haven't you called? Why haven't you called? ¿Por qué no habías llamado? Then, we have which which, pero no de bruja, ¿verdad? Which, in this case, what is the usage? ¿Cuál es el uso que le damos? Which, 
deseo? No, that is wish. O elegir. Ajá, esa es la... It's... Yes, ese Sele es el uso. Selections, uh, Ajá. options. Options, esa es la respuesta. Options. What you need to choose between maybe two items or something like that. So this is use when there is a choice. Cuando tengo que escoger, ahí voy a utilizar which. And we have two examples. Which of these pens is the best? Which of these pens is the best? Aquí estamos escogiendo cuál es el mejor. And the second one, which author do you enjoy? ¿A cuál de los autores disfrutas más? So estamos escogiendo entre varias opciones. Then we have whose, whose, Good. what is, what is the usage? ¿Cuál es el uso de whose? Let's see, let's see. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es el uso? Okay. I will tell you yes. what it what? Okay, I will give you the uh, the usage en el uso del whose es para mostrar posesión, possession, a quién le pertenece algo. So in this case, use, es. de quién es, exacto, use to show possession. And we have the example, whose child is this that has a cup? Whose child, I mean, Whose child is this that has a cough? ¿De quién es este niño que tiene tos? ¿O de quién es este pequeño que tiene tos? ¿O de quién es el hijo que tiene tos? Then, whose bag is this? Whose bag is this. ¿De quién es esta cartera? And the last one, that is another very common, how. What is the usage of how? ¿Cómo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? So, this is used to explain a process. Es para explicar un proceso. Used to explain a process. And we have the examples. How do you learn English? How do you learn English? So in this case, we can make a list of things that we do to learn English. Aquí, cuando tenemos la pregunta do, I mean, uh, how, podemos hacer una pequeña lista de cosas que nosotros hacemos para eh, realizar las acciones que nos están preguntando. How do you learn English? Oh, first I listen music in English. Then I read some sentence of the day. 
or we can make another kind of actions. How old are you? That's another question. That's a very common question. Good. And we have another example and it says, how has the weather been? How has the weather, como estado el clima? How, uh, how has the weather been? So now we have our uh, sentence here. I, I'm going to move this one. Let me take to the other page because I need complete uh, the table. Aquí vamos a ver un poco más completa la tabla. Here. Let me see. How many? How much? Good. But in that case, you need to know how many or how much are with countable are uncountable nouns. Ahora, ya tenemos nuestras WH words. Voy a necesitar que me escriban preguntas en el chat utilizando esas palabras. Ustedes van a escoger dos palabras y van a hacer dos preguntas. Yo voy a escribir una lista de sus preguntas en el documento. So, I need to write two uh, questions using WH words. So, let's begin right now writing the questions. Vamos a escribir las preguntas. En este momento vamos a tomar cinco minutos para escribir las preguntas y para que yo las vaya poniendo en el documento. Así que comenzamos a escribir dos preguntas en el chat.
Okay, thank you so much for your participation. Eh, vamos a leer algunas de las eh, preguntas que ustedes pusieron en el chat, que fueron muchas. Ahora solo vamos a tener unos cuantos ejemplos. And we have here, how do you say mesa in English? Eh, what time is it? Where are you from? Where do you live? Who is your sister? What team is the best? Where are my glasses? How old are you? Why do you like that movie? Where do you play? What are you going to eat? How much is the wallet? Who is hungry? Whose hat is this? Where do you work? What color is this? When is the Christmas dinner? When is your graduation? What is your favorite food? Where do you buy those shoes? What is your name? What happened to your car? Whose books are these? What is your eye color? And what is your mom's name? Very, very good. And if you can see on the chat, we have a lot of questions. We have more, more questions on the, um, the chat. So thank you for all the questions that you wrote on the chat. So let's move to the conversation. We are going to hear a conversation. Good. We are going to hear that conversation and we are going to make like a, a little review of them. So we are going to see what are, uh, I mean, what is the conversation about? What is the topic of the conversation and what are the elements that we need to focus on? Vamos a ver cuáles son los elementos que necesitamos de esa conversación. So I'm going to access to the uh, platform uh, remember that you need to recuerden que tienen que terminar la sección 1 y 2 para esta semana. WH question with we going to in conversation have a good Valentine's Day. Vamos a hablar sobre, sobre Valentine's Day. So let me play the video. And here we are. Let's listen the conversation. Vamos a escuchar la, conversa la conversación. Have a good Valentine. And I need to put 0.75. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, that's the conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. We can uh, listen to hear, or we can notice that we have two uh, people talking about uh, their plans. And we have this conversation. We are going to do something. I'm going to add uh, this conversation to the document. So, tomorrow we are going to have the oral practice. Les voy a poner la conversación en el documento y también ustedes lo pueden buscar en la plataforma. Y mañana vamos a hacer esta conversación. Vamos a practicar esta conversación mañana. So, let's read again the phrases that we have on the conversation. We have Mona and Tyler. But I need to, I'm going to stop this one. And I'm going to put on the um, on the document. So give me a moment because I need to have it on the document here. I will show you the document right now, so give me a second.
Okay, here we are. So here we have the conversation. We have Mona and Tyler uh, that are uh, speaking. So phrase number one. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Oh, we can say, so Tyler, are you gonna do something special for Valentine's Day? Aquí podemos utilizar el gonna que estuvimos eh, eh, aprendiendo ayer, que es la manera corta de decir going to. So here we can say gonna. So Tyler, are you gonna do, do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for a dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for a dinner. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. Or, oh, she's gonna like that. Tell me, Tatiana. Y traducida la segunda oración de Tyler. Yeah, I'm gonna to take my girlfriend. ¿Cómo, cómo, lo, cómo suena? I'm gonna to take my girlfriend. Yo iría a tomar a mi novia. No, es como llevarla a una cita o sacarla. I'm going to take my girlfriend out. Voy a sacarla para going cenar. Ajá, es que ahí, ahí es eh, take out, es completo. Solo que ahí le agregamos my girlfriend en medio, pues take out. I'm going to take out. Es como sacar a una cita a alguien. Entonces ahí sería como llevarla a una cita o sacarla a una cita. Gracias. Como fuera. Hola. Es como fuera. Ajá, es como ir afuera, porque ahí, ahí Ajá, mismo lo dice, take out. out. Es como Ajá. sacarla o llevarla a, a cenar. Lo podemos eh, acortar diciendo sacarla a cenar o llevarla a cenar. Then we have, oh, she's going to like that. How about you? How about you? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Let's see. Ah, sí, es, es que son de lunes a jueves, pero acuérdense que esta semana, por la situación de las lluvias, no tuvimos la sesión el lunes. Por eso es que vamos a tener la sesión mañana viernes para completar los cuatro días. Es para que ustedes salgan siempre en la misma fecha. No es porque vamos a tener clases de martes a, a, a viernes, sino para que ustedes salgan en la misma fecha en la que está estipulado que termine el, el curso. Así que esta semana sí vamos a trabajar viernes, la próxima semana hasta el jueves, igual que la tercera semana. Pero la última semana sí vamos a volver a trabajar hasta el viernes porque el 2 es asueto, no, va, no van a tener eh, ninguna sesión ustedes para salir directamente el 4 que es viernes, si no me equivoco. Pero no, no se preocupen, es de, es de lunes a, a jueves. Ok, let's continue. And it says, sounds like fun, sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you, you too. Thanks, you too. Sí, aquí estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Que están hablando de los planes que tienen para eh, San Valentín. Uno, pues, va a sacar a su novia a comer a su restaurante favorito y la otra no va a ir a un restaurante, pero sí va a ir a bailar. Van a ir a disfrutar, ¿verdad? Ese momento y se dicen, have a good Valentine's Day. Tengo un buen eh, o un bonito o un feliz día de San Valentín. Así que ahí va a quedar la conversación. Mañana vamos a hacer los pequeños grupos. We are going to have like small groups in which we are going to practice the conversation. And don't worry, it's going to be very, very fun. So don't, don't, don't worry about the pronunciation or I am going to make some mistakes. That's normal and that's the process. So this is the conversation and we are going to do it tomorrow, not today. 
I'm going to give you time to read the sentences, to practice and all of that things. So we have just 10 minutes to complete this session. So in this case, we are talking about celebrations because this is a special occasion and we are going to see some vocabulary related to that special dates. Vamos a ver o vamos a, a, a escuchar un vocabulario que tiene que ver con celebrar eh, ocasiones especiales. ¿Qué palabras, qué frases podemos nosotros utilizar para referirnos a ocasiones especiales? Well, we are going to see what are those eh, words or phrases that we can use for a special occasion. So we are going to put attention to the video because we are going to have another video in which we're going to see or hear those uh, vocabularies. So let's see. Let me go to the video. Mm -hmm. Word power is special occasion. Here we are. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day Father's Day Graduation Wedding Anniversary Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. Okay, here we have a small or short a vocabulary about um, words that we can use for a special occasion. We have send cards. Utilizamos la frase send cards, de mandar tarjetas um, for the different special uh, dates or special occasions. We have give presents, que es dar, dar regalos, ¿verdad? En alguna ocasión especial take pictures, tomar fotografías, sing songs, cantar canciones, mm, obviamente, ¿verdad? Vamos a cantar algunas canciones especiales, dance, bailar, eat cake, que es comer, ¿verdad? Pastel, eh, have a party, tener una fiesta, have a picnic, ser un picnic, un, un peque una pequeña reunión, uh, eat special food because in some uh, special celebrations or some celebrations we eat a special food that we uh, think there are a special for that moment and wear a special clothes. For example, on the anniversary, on wedding or graduation, we wear different clothes, not the, um, the clothes that we are like 
uh, or they are very common for us to wear in our daily life. In this case, we use a different clothes for this special occasion. What uh, other words we can use for a special uh, occasion? ¿Qué otras palabras eh, ustedes tienen o qué otras frases podemos agregar a esto de las ocasiones especiales? Another word. Se pueden agregar las fechas de los funerales. No. Puede agregarlas como la, la celebración. Ah, ok. Pero algo que usted haga en una celebración, uh, alguna... Um, Algo que, que usted eh, regale o algo que usted haga para una celebración en especial. Como reventar piñatas para los cumpleaños de los niños. Sería mm -hmm. algo así. Esa es una. Exactamente. Another o one. como las posadas en México. Exacto. Se puede hacer como las posadas. Eh, lo de las piñatas. Regalar flores también puede ser otra. Eh, give flowers. What more? Comer panes rellenos. Ah, have a special, a, a special food, good. Es otra cosa que a veces tenemos como un postre o una comida especial para diferentes fechas. Y tenemos una acá en el chat que dice eh, cook special food. Esa es otra también que a veces decimos ah, es una ocasión especial, voy a cocinar. Another one. Los tamales para Navidad, que la gente hace a veces. Mm -hmm, también. Give uh, uh, abrir ah. una botella de vino. Ah, that's good. Uh, drink wine in a special occasion. Comerse las 12 uvas para New Year. Uh -huh. Ajá. Reventar, the... uh -huh. reventar cohetes. Ah, también lo de la pólvora. Very good. Todas esas, esas frases eh, or special things that we perform in these celebrations are used in this kind of vocabulary because we are talking about eh, how we celebrate the special occasions. ¿Cómo celebramos nosotros nuestras eh, celebraciones o nuestros momentos especiales? And we have a lot of things that we can do on a special date. So in that case, that vocabulary Eh, that we have on the platform is kind of short, es bastante corta, eh, hay muy pocas palabras, porque nosotros tenemos muchas más acciones que podemos hacer en una ocasión especial. And you can see now that we are talking about cook a special food. Um, some people like to paint something eh, in, in a party or in a birthday. Um, give books, give flowers, eh, eat something special, drink uh, wine or beer or something like that in, in the birthdays or for Christmas. Um, also, we can uh, give or, uh, yes, we can give clothes to the other person when they are uh, having their birthdays. Um, also, we can give animals as a present. Um, also, we can go to a restaurant to eat their favorite food for the people that is having something special or something like that. All of those actions, all of those things are part of the celebration. Todas esas frases, todas esas um, cosas especiales que nosotros hacemos para las celebraciones van dentro de este vocabulario. So, remember, tomorrow we are going to have session number four. Vamos a tener la sesión número cuatro mañana. Vamos a hacer la, vamos a practicar la conversación y ustedes tienen que completar sección uno, sección dos para mañana. Así que, have a really good night and we are going to end the session here. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 See you. Bye. Take care. See you.